So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about JSTL SQL tags. So whenever you want to use SQL tag, we cannot use code, we have to use SQL. Okay. Now what is the use of SQL tags here? So let's say you have a JSP page and you want to connect with database. Now what you will do? So to connect with database, you need to write some tags using which you can connect with database. Normally what happens is you have to write Java code, you have to follow those seven steps to, to do that. But JSTL says, hey, don't worry, we have some tags using which you can connect with it, can connect with the database and you can fetch the data. Let's see how to do that. So what we'll do is, first of all, let's create a database in, the, in, the, in any database you use, maybe MySQL or Oracle. I'm using MySQL here, so if I go to MySQL, I already have a database which is Mario. Inside that database, I have a table called as gadgets. Okay, and if I if I see what is what is there inside gadgets, you can see we have GID, G name, and price. So we have one, two, three, we have iPhone as name, then laptop, and then one plus three, we have this price here. I want to fetch these elements or these values on the page. So of course we have to connect with database, right? Now do you connect that? First of all, we have to use something called as a data source. Now data source will define what is your database name. I mean, first of all, which database you are working with. Second, what is the database name, then username and password. And you can do that with the help of data source tag. So we have to use data source tag in which you have to first mention the database, I mean the variable which we'll be using for, to refer that, we'll say DB. Next you have to mention the driver name because every DBMS will have a different driver. And for me, the driver is com.mysql.jdbc.driver, okay? And then you have to mention the URL. I will say URL is JDBC colon MySQL. Again, for, for different DBMS, we have different URL. I'm just assuming that you know how to connect database with uh, Java and database. They are the same steps. Then I will use my port number, which is 3307 for my machine, Mario, the database name. And then you have to mention the username, which is user equal to root. And then password which is the next one. In fact, when you say, you don't have to type this, you simply say control space, it will give you thing. The, the, the amazing thing about my machine is I don't have a MySQL password, so I don't, don't have to specify that. If you're doing this for the first time, if you have a MySQL password, set it that. Now what next? Now once you go out your database, we have to use the query. So you have to say SQL colon query. Okay, in this query, you have to mention uh, your SQL query, which query you want to execute. Now once your query gets executed, it will store the data, data somewhere and that data is your val. So we'll say rs, so it will store the data inside rs. Now if you have seen my data, uh, if, you, if you have seen my video on JDBC, we normally use object or result set. The same thing is here, which is rs is result set here. Then we have to use data source, which data source you are working with. And we have to connect with this db. So we'll say, uh, we'll use expression language here and we'll say db. Okay, we, with double quotes. Now once you have done that, let's mention, okay, what else we have to mention here? Then you have to mention the query. So we'll finish this here. We'll say n tag. And inside this, you can mention the query now. So here you can mention select star from gadgets. Okay, now once you specify query, so what, what will happen is when you execute this code now, it will try to connect with your database. Now once it is connected, then you will, you will get your data source by DB and then you will, you will execute this query and the results will be, will be stored inside RS. Now question that is how to print all these values. Now to print the values, we, have, we can use, we can, we can specify individual values, right? We can say C colon out and then we can specify value, right? And we can, we can fetch the value from result set and we can print. But let's say I want to print all the values, how to do that? That we'll see in the next video. But you have to make sure that if you want to execute this thing, you need a MySQL driver. Okay, so you have to add your MySQL driver here. So again, you can connect, you can download that from Google or somewhere. So you have to make sure that you are adding a MySQL connector here. So what I will do is, before starting the next video, I will be adding the MySQL connector here. Just go to Google and search for MySQL connector for, or MySQL connector J. So let me just write it here. Just MySQL connector slash j download this char file and save it here in the lib folder now once you do that you can use the mysql connector 
and yeah so in the next video we'll see how to how to print that but make sure make sure you subscribe the channel and like this video if you liked it thank you so much